This is a slug. He likes to eat sandwich and drink compote. He likes going out with friends to dance to hard bass. He likes playing CSGO on computer. But most of all, he likes to squat down. But you are asking, why do Slavs squat so much? Well, let me show you. Yes, Boris! Now you see, some people think that Slav squatting is some kind of a joke. They see, Boris, I have never seen someone squat like that. Well, you have never been to Kopnik part of Slav countries. Where squatting with friends is a natural part of one's day. As to others, it is to watch television or going to pub to drink with friends. But you see, not everyone is granted those privileges. For you see, when you are brought up in a poor region in Eastern Europe like me, then the streets are all the entertainment and social interaction that you need. <laughs> so why do Slav squat? Because it feels good. And it gives you opportunity to communicate with people that are already squatting. And not just that, slow squatting is much more natural position than sitting down. Especially when there is no bench to sit on. And that is where this position originates from. The slow squat came into wide use from Russian prison culture. Imagine this, you are thrown into cell with 50 other gopniks. All the prison benches are taken or broken and the ground is cold and dirty. So what do you do? You bend your knees, squat down to full heel for longer endurance, and you think to yourself, how did I get to prison again? But overall, for the modern Gopnik, squatting is about many things. Most of all, of course, you do not have to sit on cold ground when you're having some beer and sandwich with your friends. Because come on, let's face it, standing takes too much energy and is generally overrated. And this also means that squatting is a social activity, more common in Eastern Slav countries where the Gopniks drink their 2 liter bottles of light beer and smoke their cigarettes with a side of vodka. And when you are squatting down, you have very low center of gravity. This allows you to squat indefinitely or if the situation requires, jump up and run towards or from something. And that, my friends, is why Slavs squat. Because it's good and because they can. If you are still not convinced and you are not sure if the squat life is for you, here are some more high quality examples. This is what we call the infinity squat, good for practicing your balance and essential part of the Gopnik weight loss program. Very well done. This is the contemplation squat. Every smart Gopnik will do this right before buying vodka. This is the supportive squat. It will strength and character. The historic squat for just in case that you invent time travel. The celebratory squat for when you make your first very own jar of mayonnaise. The preparation squad when you are getting ready for battle. And the victory squad for when the battle has been won. You see some people this squad for fun. Some squad because it helped them absorb vodka better. Some do it just to honor their Slav heritage. Others do it because it is written in their genetic code. Maybe you might do it because you feel it is your duty as a Slav. Or maybe this is how you feel most comfortable while making compote. Perhaps it increase your cooking skill by a hundred and give you the skill of finally making that soup you always wanted. Maybe it helps you to bring out the slavness in your eyes. Or maybe you just want to take the role of being kakadu for one day. The legend says that while squatting the blood flow to legs is limited and this increases your brain power by five times. And that explains why all the Kopniks are chatting all the time contemplating hypotheses of existence and of course making phone calls to everyone they can reach. So you see my friends, the question is not why Slavs squat, but why the rest of the world does not. Well, thank you friends for watching this educational video, I do hope it helps and I encourage you to try the Slavs squat if you already have not. But for now, stay cheeky breaking my friends, I will see you next time.